In Hong Kong, the protests were small today, dampened by a big police presence and tight rules on COVID-19. But the anger is growing. Activists vowed to fight the national security law, just as millions in Hong Kong resisted China's influence last year. We must continue the fight in such uphill battle to against the national security law, just like how we successfully forced the government to withdraw the controversial extradition bill in 2019. But this time, as the People's Congress gathered in Beijing, China's leadership seemed more determined to have ultimate control over a Hong Kong that's supposed to rule itself. Powerful measures must be taken to prevent, stop and punish subversives and terrorists, Communist Party officials told delegates in a capital that's clearly been spooked by the scale of opposition to China. Beijing doesn't understand what people from Hong Kong want. Lynette Ong studies China at the University of Toronto. It definitely scares, scares them because this is beyond their threshold of acceptability. Under the new law, Chinese security forces, including secret police, will now be able to roam Hong Kong at will. Judges will have to enforce the new directives. Freedom is the fundamental element of the success of Hong Kong. And now it seems like they're going to take it away. For years, China's been chipping away at Hong Kong's distinct legal and political system, trying to exert control behind the scenes despite promises not to. But this reach for control is bolder than ever, and the backlash may well end up being bigger than Beijing expected. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Tokyo.